Welcome to ISTV Evening News. I am Jalak Singh Angam. The ISTV network launches daily evening news today at 6.45 p.m. on ISTV Channel 1. First the headlines. Chief Minister O. Ibobi asks Ministry of Home Affairs to give focused attention to Indo-Myanmar border. Patrol scarcity hits the people of Manipur as economic blockade on National Highway 39 continues. And public meeting held at Kangchuk playground against the twin murder of mother and daughter. Now the news in detail. Chief Minister O. Ibobi drew the center's attention to the effective management of the 367-kilometer Manipur sector of the Indo-Myanmar border and requested the Ministry of Home Affairs to give focused and substantial attention to the border. Speaking at the conference of the Chief Ministers on Internal Security held at the Plenary Hall of Bigyan Bhavan in New Delhi on Sunday, O. Ibobi said it is no secret that most arms and ammunition used against security forces and the state police forces are smuggled in from Myanmar. He also said another serious angle is the active involvement of insurgent groups in smuggling of huge quantities of narcotics like heroin. He requested the Ministry of Home Affairs to consider deployment of Assam Rifles units closer to the border. The people of the state are once again hit by the problem of scarcity of petrol due to the economic blockade called by Senapati Students Association on the National Highway 39 to praise the demand for construction of the highway. Long queues of people were seen at oil depots in many parts of Imphal since morning. Many trucks carrying petrol and other essential items were held up in the district due to the blockade. It may be recalled that the Works Minister K. Ranjit recently visited the district and appealed to the people not to call bans and economic blockades to expedite the construction work on the national highway. A public meeting was held today at Kangchuk Playground in connection with the twin murder of a widowed mother and her teenage daughter whose highly decomposed bodies were found in a field at Paying on the 23rd of last month. Organized by Kangchuk Chingkong Women's Organization, the meeting was attended by JC members, leaders of various communities and locals of Paying. Speaking at the meeting, a JC member said people are suspicious of involvement of underground gathers as the unknown killers had told the victim's family that Chanbi, the mother, was being taken to meet party leaders. So far, no underground outfits have either claimed the responsibility for the killing of the mother and daughter or denied it, he said. He also alleged that the government has failed to nab the culprit and appeal to all underground organizations to clarify the murder. Amidst controversies over implementation of National Rural Employment Generation Scheme in the state, the Union Ministry of Rural Development and Panchayati Raj this year conferred Excellence Award for Mahatma Gandhi to the Deputy Commissioner of Senapati District, Nidhi Keshwarani and her team. The award was conferred by the Prime Minister of India, Dr. Manmohan Singh, at a grand function held at Bigyan Bhavan, New Delhi on February the 2nd. According to official sources, 68,553 people of Senapati district had been provided a maximum of 100-day employment through the National Rural Employment Generation Scheme during the year 2008-9. A sum of rupees 111 crores had been utilized for the purpose. It may be mentioned that the Union Ministry of Rural Development and Panchayati Raz selected 25 districts out of 619 districts from across the country for their excellent performance in implementation of NREZS. Dishi Keswarani, while speaking to ISTV News, expressed her pleasure over the achievement. She said her team was selected after a central team verified to work progress in the district under the NREZS. Uh, with the recommendation of the state government, they are shortlisted and are called to give their presentation and to defend their, their uh, cases. And in that presentation, various uh, questions are asked, they verify the claims of the various district. And after all that is done, every district is given provided certain marks on various criteria, on those evaluation criteria. Whatever is the compilation, whichever district uh, gains the maximum marks and whichever district uh, give, comes up with the better uh, performance, mm -hmm. they are awarded on a national level. Normal functioning of the Directorate of Information and Public Relations came to a complete halt after 
employees of the directorate showed solidarity to the ongoing cease work strike of the JSC of Amgeo and Amtuk. A sit-in protest was staged today at the office premises of the directorate at Morangkom. The Joint Administrative Council has been demanding full implementation of the recommendations of the Sixth Pay Commission. Most offices of the state government have been partially paralyzed as the JSC intensified its agitations. Similar protests were also held at Lumfell DC office complex and the industries department. The JSC began its cease war strike on January the 16th. A mass protest rally was also organized on 4th of February in Imphal. Meanwhile, state pensioners also continued their protest at Hicham Yacham Park, Merangkom. Aged and weary pensioners in anguish waited for government response by putting their demand on play cards. 20th Annual Sciences Mid for Foot and Mouth Diseases of Animals began today at Hotel Classic, not AOC. Veterinary Minister D.D. Thaisi and Union Commissioner of Veterinary Animals and Husbandry Dr. Lal Krishna Gress opening function as Chief Guest and President. The meet was attended by around 61 scientists from across the country and will undergo for three days. Dr. Lal Krishna speaking on the occasion said the country has been spending huge amount of money in fighting various foot and mouth diseases of domestic animals. He further said, it is the need of the hour to prevent such diseases. Local Mayrapaibis of Uripok spent sleepless night guarding Heritage Convent School after unwanted incident occurred in the school campus over collection of fees. The school located at Uripok was ransacked by irate parents and guardians after school authority collected monthly fees even though classes were not held following boycott called by three students' organizations. A local woman speaking to ISTV News urged both school authority and the guardians to come to an amicable solution before any untoward incidents occurred. Meanwhile, sources from the school authority said the differences between the school authority and the guardians association was amicably resolved. It further said normal classes will resume tomorrow. Rins Hospital continues to wear a deserted look as doctors and nurses did not report for duties for the third day today. Meanwhile, the medical superintendent Dr. Y. Mohan appealed to all striking employees to resume duty in the interest of the public. He was hopeful that the Reims Authority will be able to pay monthly salaries as soon as the clearance comes from the centre. A young man armed with a knife slashed the face of Rathor today as he was leaving a Chandigarh court. The former cop convicted of molesting 14-year-old Ruchika Girhotra was leaving a Chandigarh court when the attack took place. Rathor was rushed to a hospital. He has deep wounds on his face but has been declared out of danger. Witnesses say the man who attacked Rathor was holding a video camera in an attempt to pose as a journalist. The police believe this was a pre-planned attack but it says it cannot give any information on the man's motives for now. We have come to the end of today's evening news but before we wind up the headlines once more. Chief Minister O. Ibobi asked Ministry of Home Affairs to give focused attention to Indo-Myanmar border. Petrol scarcity hits the people of Manipur as economic blockade on National Highway 39 continues. And public meeting held at Kangtuk playground against the twin murder of mother and daughter. That's all for today. Repeat telecasts of ISTV Evening News will be available at 9.45 p.m. on ISTV Channel 2 and 7.45 a.m. on the next morning at ISTV Channel 1. Thank you for watching and good night.